The CDC has issued its highest travel alert, telling Americans to avoid all non-essential travel to China, where the death toll from the coronavirus is increasing. Video from social media shows crowds gathering at the border of Hong Kong, where some believe they'll be safer. Hong Kong says all rail lines to mainland China will be cut on Friday. At least 106 people have died in China. Remy Innocencio is in Beijing. Remy, we understand the U.S. has a flight evacuating Americans from Wuhan. Yes, that's right, and good morning. That plane is scheduled to take off in about 12 hours' time, but not every American in Wuhan will be on it simply because there aren't enough seats. Now, we spoke to one American citizen in Wisconsin, a man, and he said that his wife and his kid are stuck in Wuhan, and he's hoping they are going to get on that plane. Yeah, you excited to see me, Adeline? Yeah, I miss you too. Sam Roth is doing everything he can to help his family get out of Wuhan. His wife Daisy and his two children, Adeline and Abigail, flew to China to see Daisy's family just last week for the big Lunar New Year holiday. Sam stayed in Wisconsin. From the moment they stepped foot on Wuhan, they were told, you know, stay inside, don't, don't get in big gatherings, and then the city went on lockdown. And they're just three of the roughly 1,000 Americans unable to leave. Leave. They hope to be chosen to fly on the State Department's chartered flight Wednesday. The government says priority will be for those at greater risk. We've got a 10-month-old, we've got a 5-year-old. They're susceptible and, and they should be prioritized. U.S. health officials do say the virus is not spreading widely in the country and public danger is low. Still, five cases have been confirmed while more than 100 suspected cases are being tested across 26 states. The American public should not be fearful about this, but you really need to take it very seriously because as things evolve, our recommendations and our policy will change to be in accordance with what the evidence is. Back in Wuhan, the city is racing to finish two hospitals in the next few weeks to treat thousands of people. Wuhan's mayor on national television has offered to resign for what he called an unsatisfactory response, saying about five million people left his city before it went on lockdown. Remy Innocencio for us in China. Remy, thank you very much.